Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm going to be repotting my wisteria. This is the very first time I've ever repotted this plant. Here is a look at my wisteria. So I have the main plant in this pot that David from the Toronto Bonsai Society gave me. And then I snipped off a cutting and stuck it in the soil here and it seems to have buds on it so it survived, it must have rooted. So I have two wisteria here so I can give the one away and just work on the one tree for a bonsai. I was reading up at wisterias. It looks like they can be root pruned quite hard and then they'll regrow a new root system and they should be repotted at least every two years on younger trees and maybe three to four years on older ones. I'll get out my tray and begin the repotting. Like that. I'll try and get it out of the pot first. Oh, it's coming out very easily. So some gravel in the bottom of the pot. And I think this is just in garden soil. I don't think it's ever been trained as a bonsai or anything. So I'll just take some of this uh, moss and weeds off the surface here. It'll be nice to get this wisteria underway as a bonsai finally. I mean, it's been growing well in the soil and I've been pruning it. I, I've pruned it at least twice now. And I don't think I've ever started a playlist for the wisteria yet. So I'll have to do that today, start a playlist and get the videos organized. All right, I'll take away the old pot and I can start raking out the roots. Sorry, my voice is so hoarse, I'm getting over a cold. So I'll begin raking out the roots here and we'll see what kind of root system this wisteria has. It's a mysterious wisteria. So far it's looking okay. It's got a few surface roots at least. See what kind of roots this cutting has too. So I, I struck some cuttings earlier with this tree and they rooted but they didn't make it through the first winter. And I think that's because I didn't have this nice glass greenhouse. Uh, but this cutting, which I think I struck last year, has survived the winter and is doing quite well. So they do root easily from cuttings. You just got to give them some good winter protection. So I think it'll take a while for me to comb through this root system. It's in garden soil and the roots are very tangled. There's a few trees. I don't know what this tree is here. If it's even... It's not a tree. It's a dead cutting. So that can be thrown away. So I'll keep working away on the roots here. I think it's going to take me quite a while. They're very tangled, they're in garden soil. So I'll get it to the point where uh, I'm ready to wash the roots and then we'll come back and do that. It's a zombie apocalypse. I have removed all the soil from around the roots and you can see it's quite a wild root system. It's going to take a bit of sorting out but it's got a good root system, that's for sure. The other cutting didn't have any roots at all. So I'm wondering if maybe I pruned this off the tree in winter and stuck it in the soil, hoping it would root in spring, I'm not sure. But uh, Okay, so I'll clean up the soil and then we'll come back and wash the root system on the wisteria. Into the water, the wisteria goes. Now I'll get my root rake and just try and clean the soil off the roots. A bit of clay there. I think that's pretty good. I can see what's going on. I can prune the roots. 
carefully and accurately. Yep, I think that'll do nicely. Back to the bench. All right. So the first root I'm going to prune off is there's a root coming off the trunk and it wraps around the trunk here. That has got to go. It's kind of fused into the trunk here. There's a root. Here's the upper part. I can cut that off like that. If you left that on, it would put a big groove in the trunk and it may never fully fuse and might always be a, a root kind of wrapped around the trunk. Okay, now I'm looking at the root system, trying to determine where my soil level will be. You can see my trunk goes down. I've got a great big root off here. I've got a couple up here. Some thicker roots down here. If I make this my root or my soil level, you know, I've got nothing on this side. I think the best thing to do is prune off these upper two and use something down lower as the root system. From what I see, yes. So they, they're coming off and I'll use the branch pruners for these. So here goes the first one. That. Here goes my second one. Like that. I have this little uh, shoot growing beside the trunk here. I don't think I want that either. I don't want a multi trunk. So I'm taking that off. And then I'll need to clean up all my cuts here. I want the trunk to be a good looking trunk someday. Bit of a big scar here, but they were pretty big roots. So hopefully that'll heal over, start growing around, and that'll smooth out someday. Okay. So, wow, here's what I've got now. Got a mess of roots is what I have. Well, this root here goes a very strange direction. I'm going to cut it off shorter. here, like that, then I've got one here that looks like it was cut off at one time but it's too long so I'm going to come in here and cut it off, like that, then got a bunch of roots growing up here off of the top of this root so they've got to all come off like that wow this is a wild root system and I'll have to come in and cut it off here so here I go like that take off those roots And then I've got a weird one on the bottom here. I think I'm just going to have to kind of cut through here. Taking everything off, here I go. Like that, cutting, you know, basically a lot of the root system away. Just trim these back even. So there's what I'm left with. Uh, very basic, if it roots out from here, I'll have a fairly good root system on the go. And it should. I mean, these root from cuttings quite easily, so. 
So let's get it planted now. I've got this pot that uh, Joey's Jade came in. And I think this is a good sized pot for the wisteria. It's not too deep. It's got lots of volume. It'll hold lots of moisture in here. And I, I think it's a good size for the tree once it starts a new root system. Here is a look at the amount of roots I took off. Well, basically everything. But yeah, quite a root system it had. So I've reduced it down to just kind of the buttress part of the root system. Which, if it roots, will be fantastic. It'll have a nice radial root system going. If it doesn't root, well, I don't have a wisteria then. I'll place my drainage screen in the bottom of the pot and I'll fill it up about at least halfway with bonsai soil, plant the tree, and then fill it up the rest of the way. So here I go. All right, I'll place the tree in the pot now. So the roots will be buried fairly deeply. I think, you know, that's a pretty good angle there. And I'll fill it up with soil. So hopefully next time we see this wisteria, it's growing nice and healthy and has a good root system underway. Time will tell. Okay, I think that's looking good. It's time to water the tree. All right, here I go with the water. You'll also notice that the roots on the wisteria weren't active yet, so that pot is full of water because it can't get out the drainage hole very well because it's flat on the bottom. Which is maybe a good thing for this wisteria because they like lots of water. Okay, I think my soil is nicely soaked. I'll rotate the tree around now so you can see it from all angles. And I'll use this shot in a future video if the tree lives and we can compare what it looks like now to what it looks like in the future. I got a gift in the mail the other day from a longtime viewer, Rob. Thanks very much, Rob. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I think I'm opening it up from the bottom, but ah, it is root maker pots. Wow, cool. So these are the kind you get these bases. I don't know if there's more than one in here. Oh, I think that's just one. I believe yeah. And then you wrap it around the base like this. And you've got yourself a fine looking pot. Lots of drainage. That's awesome. Oh, and then there's a smaller one here too. So these are from, uh, these are called root hogs, made in USA. Very cool, root hogs. So here's a smaller one. So these go in here, you wrap it around, and you make a pot. So it's, it's sort of like a mesh pot or a root maker pot. So these are the root hog pots. And they're very inexpensive and awesome. And you can make some really good. See how they air prune through all these holes here? And the roots, it's not like a round pot. There's no edge to hit and wrap around. They, they're directed through these openings to air prune them off. So you get a really dense root system inside the pot, which is really good. So we'll give those a try out. And then there's also some other cool stuff in here from bonsai, American Bonsai. Let's have a look and see what all this stuff is. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. This looks like a, uh, like a stainless steel chopstick. That is really nice. It says American Bonsai on it. I'll show you a close-up of that. Here's a close-up of that chopstick, American Bonsai. So it's rounded on the end, a bigger end here if you want to use that end. 
and it, it fits in the hand really nicely. So that, that is a beautiful tool. Thanks very much, Rob. I'm going to use that a lot. So also in that bundle, I've got a sticker. I'll be putting that in my truck on the uh, transmission tunnel. That will be awesome. I love stickers in there. Uh, there's another sticker. A uh, Tusken Raider from Star Wars holding a bullseye above his head. <laughs> He's got some bullseye tools on his belt there. Very cool. That'll go in my truck too. Thanks very much. And I've got some coupons. $5 coupon. Wow. From Bonsai Bucks. Again from www.americanbonsai.com. Well, we'll have to redeem that. And then there's a bunch of twist ties. And I think that's to keep the pots together. And then there's a few things about uh, X oil for bonsai tools. Yeah, the tools are guaranteed. Very cool. Yeah, so that's awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Rob, for all the gifts from American Bonsai. I'm going to put them to good use. Down here, I have a very similar pot to those root hog pots. You can see it here that the Japanese maples are growing in. And these are air layers. So it'll be interesting to see when I repot these, what kind of a root system these pots generate. I've taken a bit of a risk with the wisteria today, cutting off that much of the root system. But I have a good feeling about this tree. I think it'll recover and grow quite well. Wisterias are known for generating roots from cuttings and from you cut the root system back hard and they regrow again. So hopefully that's what will happen with this wisteria. We will know in the future in uh, probably a month or two. So that is all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. Mm -hmm.